Electric current. When two terminals of an electrical conductor are kept at different potentials, a net flow of electrical charge occurs. Remember that an electrical conductor consists of mobile electrons, uh, which are in a, a periodic array of positively charged ions, uh, which are immobile. So when we have an electrical conductor with its two ends connected to different potentials, Remember, normally an electrical conductor is an equipotential surface at equilibrium. We create a non-equilibrium situation. So this side is at a positive potential. So we have a positive potential here. And this side is at a negative potential. So we have a negative potential here. So what happens? Uh, we, we have mobile electrons inside this electrical conductor, the free electrons. These are the electrons released by the atoms, uh, which were normally valence electrons uh, attached to the isolated atoms. These electrons that are free to move will move towards the positive uh, terminal. So this is basically an attempt to uh, create an equipotential surface here. And uh, the loss of electrons um, from this side will be supplied by the negative terminal of the battery. So there will be a continuous flow of electrons from this side towards the positive terminal. So electrons, free electrons will leave the conductor uh, moving to the left and uh, the loss of electrons will be supplied by the negative terminal of the battery, so electrons will enter the conductor from the right side. And if we call this cross-sectional area A, we can say that there will be a current flow per perpendicular area, or electron flow per perpendicular area. Now, we have to be careful with the definition of current. Current and electron flow are in opposite directions, and the current is defined as the rate at which charge flows through a surface perpendicular to the flow direction. So charge flows through a surface perpendicular to the flow direction. If this is a cylindrical conductor, that perpendicular surface is basically a circle. Okay, so the rate of uh, charge flow. So I, current, is defined as the rate of charge flow. It is dq dt so uh, it's the rate of charge flow all right so uh, we can see that uh, dq dt in terms of unit will correspond to a uh, charge unit coulombs per second the si unit for a uh, time and that's called amperes so the current is defined as dQ dt, rate of charge flow, and it's measured in units of amperes, which is equal to coulombs per second. Now, as I said, we have to be careful about the direction of the current. The current is in the direction of the flow of positive charge. Now, remember that inside an electrical conductor, positive charges are immobile. They don't move anywhere. So it's the electrons that are moving uh, to the positive terminal of the uh, conductor. Now, <clears throat> we define the direction of the current as the flow of direction of flow of the positive charge, which will be opposing the direction of flow of negative charge. So this is like imagining that positive charges can flow. In fact, they cannot. But the current is basically in the direction of the flow of positive charge, which is opposite in direction to the flow of electrons. The charge carriers are electrons in metals, but uh, if we have uh, gases or electrolytes in some, some situations, it could be positively charged carriers as well. So you may have mobile ions in some cases, for example, in gases and electrolytes. But when we talk about an electrical solid electrical conductor, a metal, uh, the, it's the electrons that are carrying the charge. Okay, so we talked about electric current. Electric current is obtained when electrical conductor has its two sides kept at different potentials. The electrons um, through the conductor will flow from the negative terminal towards the positive terminal, creating a current which is defined as the rate of charge flow, dq dt, measured in amperes, which is clumps per second. And it is the 
current that is flowing through a perpendicular uh, uh, surface, which is a circle for this cylindrical conductor, the current is in the direction of the flow of positive charge, not negative charge. So electrons go from right to left, current flows from left to right, and the charge carriers are electrons in the case of metals, but they could be positively charged carriers in gases and electrolytes.